so let us first uh, from the basics let us first understand the terminologies that are used in the scientific writing and publishing most of the scholars don't know about these things so i thought of uh, initiating my course with these terminologies itself okay so let us uh, see what all those are first is the publisher so who is a, exactly a publisher he is a company it is a basically it is a company or a firm that is responsible for publishing any of the contents okay that content may be a book may be a journal may be another editorial uh, magazine or something anything whosoever is they managing this publishing process is a publisher okay he is he or she is also responsible for uh, publicizing the uh, man, uh, manuscripts basically the articles which are published in that uh, journal itself along with that it is he or she is responsible for selling okay so this publisher always has a copyright usually mostly has a copyright for selling the articles as well okay so in market there are thousands and thousands of publisher which who are roaming around because this is a very profitable business right now market mein jitne bhi publishers hain un publishers mein se uh, i personally believe only on those who are uh, very much renowned starting from elzevius willi acs rsc royal society of chemistry that is uh, then springer nature mdpi frontiers okay and iop publishers okay these are the nine publishers which are already very renowned in the field of uh, scientific writing and publishing okay so i always recommend my students to restrict their publications within these publishers why there are two reasons pehla cheez ye hota hai ki because they are renowned okay many of uh, the uh, papers which are uh, uh, published under these publishers get an impact factor okay this impact factor is very much necessary for uh, any person any of the author okay because it adds some value to your cv okay so first thing is it it adds an impact factor second thing is most of uh, the um, journals are sci index okay sci index scopus index or web of science index or pubmed index okay under these publishers under these nine publishers okay so this also is a very much uh, prime criteria for most of the institutions okay like if you want to go for a job they will ask you how many sci index papers are there okay how many scopus index papers are there how many pubmed index papers are there so for getting any kind of job this is a prime criteria so don't choose any publisher who is not indexed in these uh, uh, you know um, databases okay and the third thing is even in case right now if your journal which is published by these publisher does not have any impact factor sooner or later within next 2 or 3 years they are going to get that impact factor okay so they have that much authority in the market that no matter right now they don't have any impact factor the journal doesn't have impact factor but it will get impact factor that is for sure okay so uh, th- this is a kind of sh- sure shot uh, thing okay so always uh, follow this part prefer only these nine publishers once you are uh, thinking of going for a publication of your manuscript don't go for any other publishers they will ask you to pay huge amount of money plus they are not going to give you that much value uh, that these publishers can give okay so i'll tell you discuss more about uh, these things in uh, later stages of uh, this course but uh, i hope this uh, this uh, thing is clear to you okay